the real August update, please stand up. Well, folks, it's finally time to celebrate. Cyberlink finally got things straightened up and put out the latest update to PowerDirector 365, which now stands as version 23.0.0803 as of August the 5th, 2024. Sadly, their website still says nothing about August or version 23. I'm going to show you the exact steps that one would go through using the Cyberlink Application Manager, or CAM for short, to check for and install any updates if available. I captured some screenshots of this as I went through the procedure. Now, the first image shows my installed version, which was 22.6.3112, and the available version, which is 23.0.0803. It also shows the blue update button, which I would click to download and install the latest version. After pushing the blue update button, this next image shows the standard Windows user account control asking for permission to allow changes to installed programs. Of course, I clicked on yes to continue. And here is the standard CyberLink license agreement for installing PowerDirector 365. I must click on accept to continue. Now, this image shows the installation progress which shows it at 15%. Following the completion of the download, the installation would automatically proceed. This image of CAM shows how it should look after completing the update. CAM now only says that I am up to date. Now this image from CAM shows how it should look and then clicking on the three dots. It indicates the latest version is 23.0.0803. Strangely, I suspect there is still a small problem with CAM recognizing various version numbers because notice that under the older versions, my previous version of 22.6.3112 is not listed. It only shows two even older versions. Now, I wonder what other people are seeing. Now, when you restart PowerDirector for the first time, it asks if you would like to keep your preference settings from the previous version. Now, normally you should click on yes. Now, even if you click on no, you can always return to the preference settings in the program and set them whatever way you want. This is the standard CyberLink window inviting you to read the 10,000 page end user license agreement before you click on accept and continue. You only see this once, usually after each major update or reinstall. Now, if you watched my last video, number 70, about the first August update that I got, which wasn't really an update, something strange happened to me, and I got to see this window when I started PowerDirector one day without ever doing an official update. Now, this was the initial launcher program that I saw under the new version 23. It appears to be the same as before, but notice that it lost all thumbnail references to any of my previous projects. It provides the project name, but the thumbnails all appear black. When I click to load each of the previous projects, subsequent restarts of the program do show the correct thumbnail and no longer just a black square, so nothing to worry about. Now, this is how the new version 23 starts out. It shows tips and information about the program and various features as you access them for the first time. Nothing to worry about here either, and sometimes you may find this information beneficial as, oh, I didn't know that. And finally, we're now looking at the standard main window in PowerDirector. Version 23 looks identical to version 22, except for one new item added to the media menu background images. Now, this is a look at one category of the background images. There are a total of 32 categories, giving what I would estimate to be about 750 total images. If you right-click on any of the downloaded images and select Properties, you'll see that each is saved in its own folder, such as this first one, at C, 
users, public, cyberlink, downloaded background image, PHDM BG Fabric 01, free. Yeah, I have no idea what the letters PHDM might mean. Now, inside of that folder are just two images. One is a high-resolution JPEG, and the other is a low-resolution thumbnail. Now, each of the background images offered in PowerDirector will consume about 2 megs of disk space, mostly because of the high-res image. So if you were to download all of the available background image, you'll probably be using up 1.5 gigs total. Now, the only other change within the user interface that I found so far is the change to the edit feature of video speed. Now, I'm going to put a video onto the timeline. Now, if I wanted to speed this video up or slow it down, previously I would click on edit, and then along the left side was the option for video speed. Now, that has now changed because when I went to look for it, I found a new menu item at the top called Speed, with a red dot on it, which means there's something new here. When selected, it opens its own window, which tends to look the same as the previous version, but it also offers speed presets, such as Montage, Hero, Bullet, Jump, Flash In, and Flash Out. A quick look at the Flash In preset shows a graphical depiction indicating that it is sped up to about five times of normal for almost half of the duration. Then it ramps down to normal speed for the remainder of the duration. Now, under the graphic chart, it shows the change in the duration from the original time to the revised time. Now, each preset provides key points that the user can move around as desired. Well, there you have it, folks. I personally don't know if the titles, transitions, and overlays that I obtained in a push download last week were intended to be part of the version 23 update or not. Maybe most of you got them at the same time as the version 23 update. Now remember, it's Cyberlink and your mileage may vary. For those of you that have not yet checked for an update, Go ahead and fire up your Cyberlink Application Manager program. If you see a blue update button, then go ahead and push that button. Now, after watching this video, you should now have a good idea of what is happening while the update occurs. Speaking of pushing buttons, now everybody now, all together, push that like button. Well, okay, just a few weren't listening, but that was still pretty good. Let's try one more thing. Everybody that is not already subscribed, push that subscribe button when I say go. Ready? One, two, three, go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Now, don't be afraid. Remember here at Power Director Made Simple, Everybody knows your name, and they're always glad you came. And finally, as always, I thank each one of you for watching this video. We'll see you all back here next time.